staying in one hotel after another. It is really great to be back home in our inn. <laughs> Hi. I thought I heard your car pull up. Boy, is it great to see you guys. Oh, George, it's good to see you. Uh, I just got your postcard of the Eiffel Tower today. It really looks great, but uh, isn't it supposed to be leaning? <laughs> No, no, George. Well, I guess they fixed it. <laughs> so how, how have things been here? Oh, you know, same as usual. Nothing ever changes around here. Last week I was telling my friend Dutch, did I know Dutch before you left? Uh, Dutch. No, I guess I didn't. Well, you got to meet him. He's the funniest guy in Vermont, and I'm not the only one who says so. You should have seen him at the party. The party. Oh, yeah, you missed that, too. Well, it was some wild party, and Dutch was the life of it. He was doing this one thing to everybody at the party. Oh, look at that. What? <laughs> That's what he was doing. Why, this inn was rocking with laughter. The party was here? Yeah, and it was a doozy. Who, who gave the party? <laughs> well, I guess, in a way, you did. <laughs> No, no, we didn't. We, we were in Europe. Well, yeah, but Kirk said if you had been here, you would have wanted to give him and Cindy a going-away party. Kirk and Cindy are gone? You know, now that I think about it, things did change. <laughs> Dick, Joanna, how's your feel? Oh, hi. Hello, Mr. World Traveler and Mrs. W. Take. How is Gay Perry? Who, who cares? All I want to know about it is what happened with Kirk and Cindy. Well, oh, they went Cindy to Europe. Hold, 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 hold it. You. Where, where'd they go? Europe. Why? Uh, uh, you. Cindy got a job as a clown in a circus. <laughs> they really moved away. I can't believe it. Oh, by the way, speaking of moving, that's what I should be. Television producer has to be up by mid-morning. Oh. <laughs> by the way, Dick, I think I can get you that dressing room you wanted. I didn't ask for a dressing room. I asked for an office. Isn't that what I said? <laughs> and Stephanie, night night. Lovey bye. <laughs> God, we make a cute couple. <laughs> Gee, I'm kind of hurt that Kirk and Cindy left without even saying goodbye. Oh, he said goodbye. He stood right on their landing and said, George, <laughs> we weren't here. We were in Europe. <laughs> but they left you a note. Oh, good. Dear Dick and Joanna, we're so sorry to rush off like this without seeing you. You were the first friends we had, the first and best. We want you to know how much we will miss you. Thanks for everything and love, Cindy. Oh. That's a lovely goodbye note. And there's a P.S. for you on the back, Dick. Oh. Dick, no time to sell the cafe. You do it. Must have 18 thou, ask 100, Kirk. <laughs> One lovely goodbye note after another. Just saw Mr. Hinton leaving. I guess he wasn't racing for his checkbook. No, well, the only thing anyone's raced for this whole stupid week has been the door. I mean, it's unbelievable. Kirk is finally half a world away and I can't even enjoy it. We're never going to sell this place. Oh, honey, don't give up hope. Now that Mr. Darling from New York is coming by in a little while and maybe he'll buy it. Uh, chimney problems, Dick. <laughs> oh, Dick, what if we can't sell it? Well, it'll just sit here and decay, and if anyone asks where's the Stratford Inn, people will say you can't miss it. It's right next to that pile of rot. <laughs> Hi, Dick. Joanna. Stephanie told me you'd be here. And I was right. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Stephanie, you're supposed to be watching the inn. I can see it from here. <laughs> Stephanie. Okay, okay, okay. You're so pretty when you pout. Really? <laughs> Dick, I hope you can tear yourself away and come down to the station. We've got Mr. Dressing Room ready for you. I thought it was Mr. Office. Well, to tell you the truth, last time I looked, it was Mr. Utility Room. <laughs> but come on down, take a look at it, and we can shoot that promo at the same time. Promo? Yeah, that's a commercial for a TV show. Something to say to John Q. Public. Hey, I'm here. Love me. I, I know what a promo is. I, I didn't know we were doing one. Yeah, today. Only if that's good for you, Dick. Well, it's not. Ouch. <laughs> so 
sort of booked the hall, if you know what I mean. Hired the crew, cameras, lights, engineers, makeup, wardrobe, transportation, catering. That's why today would have been perfect. Well, the only thing he forgot to book was me, and I can't leave. I have a man who's going to look at the cafe. Well, Dick, you've been playing around with this cafe for a week now. When are you going to get back to the real world? We've got a television show to do. As soon as I sell it. Well, then sell it. What, what's the problem? Here's the problem. End of problem. Michael, tearing up that list doesn't change the fact that three burners on the stove don't work. Wrong attitude, guys. You don't have three burners that don't work. You have one burner that does work. <laughs> what about a refrigerator that doesn't get cold? Then it's frost-free. <laughs> At worst, it's an airtight closet with a light that goes on when you open it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> When you sell something, I think the law of the land is buyer beware. It might even be in the Constitution. No, it isn't. Then it's an amendment. We're not going to lie to these people. Did I lie when I said one burner worked? Don't say the glass is half empty. Say it's full. Michael, I'm not going to do business that way. Well, it's up to you, Dick. You can either do it my way or spend the rest of your life next door to a weed-infested rat's nest of an eyesore. Excuse me. I have an appointment to see this cafe. Oh, right, you're, uh, you're darling. Dick, massage him, don't seduce him. <laughs> His name is Darling. Really, what is it? Darling, Claude Darling. Oh, I'm up to speed now, Dick. <laughs> Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Dick Loudon, and this is my wife, Joanna, and this is Michael Harris. Well, it's nice to meet you. Boy, boy, this place isn't bad, huh? It isn't? <laughs> uh, the kitchen is over here. You know, I've been looking for a place to open up a restaurant, but this is the first place I've seen that's fully equipped. Yeah, it's got a stove and everything. <laughs> yeah, there, there's something I, I should tell you about the stove. Uh, not, not all the burners <coughs> are, are, are exactly the same. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is um, one is outstanding. Honey... What are all these bricks on the floor? They're, um, for, uh, for the chimney. <laughs> They're, uh, included in the price. Uh, Dick, uh, oh, hi. <laughs> Dick, I got rid of that clog in the vent. Oh, uh, good, George, what was it? I don't know, but when I woke it up, it ran off. <laughs> great, great, so the vent's clear. We were worried about it. <clears throat> Uh, you, uh, you're asking, um, 18000 huh? Uh, yes. Wow, what a buy. What are you running, a charity? Mr. Darling, I think it's only fair to tell you the reason the cost is so low is that the place needs some work. Oh, I expect to spend a few dollars on repairs. If you're not prepared to break a few eggs, you shouldn't be in the kitchen. Cute phrase. <laughs> darling by name, darling by nature. <laughs> Let's save some time, uh... We both know how these things work. Now, look, you, you want to show me the good things, and uh, I'm going to look for the bad. But I know what I like when I see it. Would you accept um, 17 five? Well, um... All right, but we're not throwing in the bricks. <laughs> well, you can't blame me for trying. 18 it is. <laughs> uh, Mr. Darling, are, are you really sure that... He's sure. sure. Joanna, take his check. Dick, let's make a promo. Well, does this scream promo to you the way it does to me? No, it screams, why is there sand here? Well, the theme of the piece is summer's over. What has sand got to do with Vermont? Where'd you even find sand in Vermont? We didn't. That's kitty litter. <laughs> Only we'll know. M Michael, what are you trying to make here? One of those tacky beach crowd commercials with, with girls in bikinis? Well, obviously, you have no opinion of me at all. Hi, Michael. You wanted to check wardrobe? Uh, not just now, Judy. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll be backstage. You are having girls in bikinis. No, no, Dick. One, one girl, one bikini. <laughs> Look, you're the star of the show. Do you think for an instant anyone is going to look at her while, while you're talking? I'm not doing it. Dick, why don't we discuss this in private someplace? Where, a cabana? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, Dick, what do you think? I think it's a stupid promo. No, I mean, what do you think of your new dressing room? Oh, I, I asked for an office. I think the promo's going to work. <laughs> well, I don't, because I'm not going to be in it. What do you want changed? I want the girl out. No, no I was talking about the room. <laughs> Speak up, you've got to give us something to go on. I, I hate the color. That we can't change. <laughs> but then, then leave it alone. The promo? The room. Dick, Dick, you're talking in circles. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try just for today? Wh which are you talking about, the room or the promo? Well, I, I was talking about the room, but if you're saying you'll give the promo a try. The room is fine, the promo is out, I do have principles. Dick? Dick, I'm sorry to burst in like this, but I just spoke with Mr. Darling and I feel so guilty. What, what are you talking about? That poor man has no idea what he's gotten himself into. That 18,000 was all he had. There's no way he can afford to fix up the place. We lied to him, Dick. We cheated him. We swindled him out of his life savings. In other words, you behaved like people with very few principles. <laughs> no principles. None whatsoever. Dick, about the promo. <laughs> Do you know why Mr. Darling bought the cafe? Why? Because his wife just recently passed away. He came here to start a new life. In other words, we swindled a widower. <laughs> oh, God. A widower? That's rough. I'm trying like the devil to think of someone I could fix him up with. <laughs> Dick, we have to tell that man the truth. You're right, let's go, all right. Goodbye, darling, hello, rot. Wait, 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 Dick, you already told the truth, remember? Uh, the outstanding burner, the, the, the bricks for the chimney, uh, buyer, beware. <laughs> Mr. Darling? Mr. Darling? Oh, no. He's already started painting a sign. He's naming the place after his wife. His wife's name was Poe? <laughs> no, Polly. Obviously, he hasn't finished the sign. Hi, neighbors. Hey, what do you think of the sign? Oh, it'll be great when it's finished. It is finished. My wife's name was Polly, but uh, I used to call her... I, uh... I used to call her... Oh. Uh, Mr. Darling, there's a, there's a reason we're here. Uh, we're neighbors now. Please, call me Claude. Claude. Uh, the, the reason we're here is, is we can't go through with selling you the cafe. What? Why not? Uh, because there's some things about the cafe we, we didn't tell you, Claude. <laughs> like... Like what? Well, Claude. <laughs> like the fact that some of the, the appliances don't work. In, in fact, most of the appliances don't work. <laughs> oh, I always expected to spend a few dollars. Most of the appliances don't work? Right. Well, why didn't you tell me that before? Because we're swindlers, that's why. <laughs> Honey, we're, we're not swindlers. Believe me, you're our, you're our first swindle. There are so many things wrong with this place. Tell him, Dick. The, the roof is bad. The wiring's bad. Not as bad as the plumbing. Face it. We're bad. The, the point is, we deceived you, and, and we're sorry, and, and we'd really feel better if, if we just called the whole thing off. Here's, here's your check back. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Wait a minute. Mm, mm. You've got a better offer, haven't you? No, uh, trust us. We lied to you. <laughs> hey, what is it? Somebody wants to build a mall? No, no. A theme park? No, really. We're just dirt. <laughs> no, no, nobody wants to build anything. Well, then why are you trying to cheat me out of my cafe? We aren't. Claude. Uh, don't call me that. <laughs> Only my friends call me Claude. People like you call me darling. <laughs> Well, we're, we're sorry for what, what happened here, darling. 
but we just don't want you to think that, that we're the kind of people who would who would sell something by, by misrepresenting it. Please, take, take your check back. No, 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 no. I'm not giving this place up for a lousy 18000 But that's what you paid for. Yeah, but if you guys are getting a better offer, I want a piece of it. I'll take eighteen five. <laughs> We're not getting a better offer. Then I'm keeping the cafe. But you can't keep the cafe. If you keep the cafe, we're... Garbage. <laughs> then give me the 18.5. Dick, give him the 18.5. All right, 18.5. 19. <laughs> Claude, 18.5, that's my final offer. Okay, but I'm taking the bricks. Right, here's your check, 18,000. And I'll give you our check for 500. I'll need two pieces of ID. <laughs> I didn't ask you for ID. You weren't dealing with garbage. That's true. <laughs> Here. Is this your right address and phone number? What? Okay. Now I'm going to take this down to the bank before it closes and get it cashed. I'll be back for my bricks. And by the way, I know how many there are. <laughs> oh, well, I feel better. How about you? Yeah, yeah, much better. I've been meaning to clean out that bank account for months. You think we're going to be able to sell the cafe to somebody else? Honey, of course we'll sell it. You and I are decent people. We'll sell it if it takes every cent we got. <laughs> yeah. Michael, there's something I have to talk to you about in the promo script. Can it wait, Dick? No, it can't. It's about the people you have me saying are going to be guests this season. Oh, what's the question? Are they going to be guests this season? Well, who in particular? Tom Selleck? <laughs> We're close, Dick. It's between us and a movie. Throw it out. <laughs> the Pope? <laughs> There's some dispute over whether His Holiness will pay his own airfare. Out. I'm not going to say anything about Amelia Earhart. <laughs> Well, Dick. Michael, after what I've been through the last couple days, I don't want to say anything that isn't absolutely honest. Well, Dick, what do you want to say? Uh, summer's over is okay. So's the part about having various kinds of guests. And I don't mind saying we're on Sunday afternoon, and that's it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. From your promo, your way. I'll just go to makeup, have them do something with that shiny nose. Michael, we're ready. Dick, you can't leave now. We're, we're shooting momentito. But you said my nose was shiny. Keep it. I like it. <laughs> It'll only take a second. Uh, no time, Dick. We're going live. Live? Well, you had your chance to tape it yesterday. In five, four, three. <laughs> Michael, cue Dick. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I, I'm Dick Loud. Summer's over and fall is here, and that means I'll be back with Vermont Today, the show that celebrates Vermont Today. I'll be talking with entertainers. <laughs> Sports figures. <laughs> Political figures. <laughs> and a few mystery guests. <laughs> so make a date Sunday afternoons with me, Dick Lowe, for Vermont Today, where we always give you something to think about. And we're clear. Good, good, good. Good for me, Dick. Was it good for you? The cue card seemed a little slow. Oh, that's all right. We made a tape. We'll, we'll tighten it up in editing. But you, you thought it was okay? Everything you said it should be. And then some. There's a call for you. You can take it right over there. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. Hello? Oh, honey, I'm sorry to bother you at work, but a real estate agent just called. She says she has somebody who wants to buy the cafe. You're kidding. Do, uh, do they know about the problems? Yes, and she says they don't care. In fact, they're on their way over now to sign the papers. Honey, that's incredible. You, uh, do you want to go dancing tonight? Not really. <laughs> oh. Uh, even better, I'll stop by and, uh, get a bottle of champagne on my way home. Great. I'll see you soon. Bye. Well, Dick's ecstatic. How's Michael? I didn't ask about Michael. Gee, Joanna. Self, self, self. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Mrs. Loudon? Yes? I'm Betty Reed with BR Realty. Oh, yes. Did you bring your clients? Hi. I'm Larry. 
This is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. You're the buyers? Hi, neighbor. Get down, Dick. Boy, you're in a good mood. Why shouldn't I be? I got the promo I wanted, and we finally sold the cafe. Things are finally going my way. Mm -hmm.